boss for me man them just a hopes again for you how far can you go to celebrate the centenary of your school Solomon Jamiru deputy minister of information and communications I am a lawyer working as a prosecutor as the law so can you still remember the school song Thank you very much. You're welcome. When we don't turn at the school, any 12 Edwards get reset for the weekend. Now we're not the businesswoman and they I'm sure they did this. I can in the old left at the school. If mama don't stay at the school, they don't die, he left at the as an old Edwardian, I was there to celebrate my school's centenary. But I was not there just to celebrate. I was there to film the entire procession. A centenary is not something that comes easily. For us to see 100 years as an Edwardian, we are very, very proud to be here. Having an old Edwardian husband, brother, father means a lot to you. And today we are so happy to meet with friends that we've missed for over 30, 40 years. It makes all of us meet together as Alma Mater. We see especially for those from the diaspora. It's rather unfortunate that we've lost some of our colleagues. Of course, not everybody will live to see a centenary. I have lost lots of my friends, principals, teachers. May their souls rest in peace. Because this day is very important, and I think we are doing this it's not just for ourselves, but also for others who may have succumbed to the cold hand of death. But a hundred years is a blessing. To live and see a centenary celebration is once in a lifetime. And I happen to be one of those fortunate people. It will remain forever in my mind and for the rest of Sierra Leone. I'm coming all the way from UK, Manchester to come and celebrate. I can hold thousands of miles just to be here from the US. We are not even starting if our children will witness another one again. So that is why it is very important to all. I don't know if I want to be 100 again, but I didn't want to miss this 100 year one. It's not every other day that you get to celebrate a 100 anniversary. produced a lot of important personalities, doctors, lawyers, principals, presidents, and even me, a filmmaker. Let Dr. Amati Jankaba, former president of the Republic of Sierra Leone, is just an important person to us. We have the current um, leader of the opposition in parliament, Honorable Cherry Koko, the person you are interviewing, Solomon Jamiru, Deputy Minister of Information and Communications, and also spokesperson for national COVID-19. And we have quite a good number of people, Professor Joko Smart, we have quite a good number of people that have gone through the school. And so I feel tremendously blessed that God gave me the opportunity, the privilege, and I say thank you to all of those wonderful teachers, past, present, and those who will also serve in the future. some female who we are fortunate to attend. St. Edward was one of those schools that had six form in those days. After taking the GCEO level, we needed to have the A level, lower six and upper six. And St. Edward happened to be one of those schools. That was why we had women attending St. Edward Secondary School to pursue the sixth form education. The women that we are fortunate to attend St. Edward, you know, they were so lucky, they found themselves so lucky. I miss my teachers them, I miss my friends them. So like this is now one big opportunity for me for car. I mean get along with them back, come connect. Camaraderie between all of us, the learning that we shared, just being here has made that what 
every single time that we put together.